Hello everyone. Now, maybe like me, you've been using the Gutenberg block editor over the last few months, and maybe like me, you have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes you love it, it works, it's awesome, and sometimes you just can't quite get to where you want to get to, or you can't get it to work for you. So recently, I found a few little tips and tricks that have really helped me using the block editor in WordPress, and I just wanted to share them with you today. So let's get started. So here I have a post in WordPress and it is going to be the one we're going to use today for this demo. And I've just got a few quick tips that have really, really helped me working with the block editor. The first thing is the full screen mode. Now, as you can see with full screen mode active, which is the default, you can't see any of the WordPress admin menus down the left hand side. And personally, I like to see those menus. I want to have access to other areas in the WordPress admin rather than just seeing an editing screen. And this is really, really simple to change. If you click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and you can choose to untick the full screen mode, you'll notice there's also a short command for it as well. And as you can see, that brings back the menu on the left and it also brings back the admin bar menu at the top. And personally, I just prefer that I, I can get to where I want to get to um, a little bit quicker. So a full screen mode is a really good option to choose if you want to get your WordPress admin menu back on the left hand side. The next um, one is this spotlight mode, which is accessible from the same three uh, dots or the options menu in the top right hand side. And Again, by default with this turned off, you can see that as I click on blocks, um, it's not obvious which block is selected. You get the toolbar appearing, but it, it, you, could, you could argue it's not obvious which one I'm selecting. However, if you use spotlight mode, and I'll just turn it on, you can see all the other block areas get faded away, and the one that I'm using is now highlighted, which may be something that you find useful. To be honest, it's not something I've found massively useful unless I have had a page where there is quite a complex block layout. And it's actually been very useful in that instance to be able to see just focusing on the block that I'm actually looking at at the time. But for now, I'm just gonna switch that back off. Um, something that I've noticed, and I also notice from other viewers and other people using WordPress, is that the UI for Gutenberg gets in the way. So for example, I've selected a list item here to edit it, and this toolbar appears at the top. Now, we need this toolbar to appear because it gives me some options that I need, for example, choosing a bulleted list or a numbered list and indenting options, etc. But it does mean that it covers up other areas of the page. Well, you can actually solve that as well by, again, using the options menu, and what we can choose um, from the options menu is we can choose this top toolbar option here. And if I press this option, you can see that that toolbar jumps up to the top of the screen and it's no longer interfering with the UI. Now this takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to having the toolbar down here, but it might be something that's useful for you and removing some of the UI and getting it out of the way. And no matter which block I click on, it changes the toolbar based on which block it is, but obviously it keeps it out of the way. And actually, it's actually up there with the rest of the tools that you might want to use as well. So having that top toolbar might be something that you want to try yourself. Next one is the block manager. Again, most of these things are under the options uh, panel. And if you click on block manager, you can manage the blocks that are available for your site. So it's, it's a way of getting rid of some of the clutter for those blocks that you never use. Also, if you're building a site for a client, you can log in as them and set this all up for them, removing the blocks that you don't want them to use. And I know you can do this with code, but this is a really easy way if you don't know how to do it with code. So for us, I'm never gonna use the verse block. I can untick it and you can see it tells me that that block is disabled. And you can do that for any number of blocks uh, that are available in this particular option. So a great, great way to manage the blocks is obviously using the block editor, uh, the block manager, sorry. 
Now, the next two are absolute gold dust, absolutely critical to the way in which I use the block editor. And if you haven't found these, you're probably still in the frustration stage. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. So here we've got a white box, which is a group block. And inside it, we've got a list block. We've then got a column block with two columns, which have then got something inside them. So we have lots of nested blocks, blocks within blocks within blocks. And it becomes very difficult to select a block that you might want to do something with. So if I just close the options bar here, you can see I'm currently on this paragraph block. So let's click on this heading block here and you can see the block changes to the heading block. That's okay. What if I want to click on the column block that this is inside? It's quite difficult. That's now the group. Um, there, I've managed to select it there, but that was very difficult. What about if I want the columns block that that is inside? That is very difficult to click on. So I've got the column there. Uh, can I? Yeah, it's very difficult. I can't select it. So you become very frustrated. Well, there's an excellent way of solving this, and it's called the breadcrumb, which is at the bottom of the screen. So if I click inside this column one heading here and move my mouse to the bottom, so you can see that I'm in the document, which is kind of the whole post. I'm then inside a group block, I'm then inside a columns block, inside a column, and I've got my heading block. And these are clickable. So if I click columns, it will select the columns block, give me the column settings on the right hand side. And um, similarly, I could click column and it would give me the column options on the, on the side there. Or I can click group to get back to the group options. So the breadcrumb is super useful as a way of being able to select the correct block that you want to work on or change the settings for. And similarly with the, the, the uh, the breadcrumb is the list view, which is up at the top of the screen. So if I just click away from the group block here, this uh, option at the top here is the list view. And if I click it, I get a view of all of the blocks on my page. If I have a block selected, it will give me the view for that block, and I'll show that in a second. But this is another super good way of being able to get to where you want. So if I want to get to that column block or columns block, I can click that again and it takes me straight highlights that block, gives me the block settings for it on the right hand side. So the list view is really good. Now notice how I've got that columns block selected. If I now use the list view again, I don't get all of the blocks on the page. I just get the sort of uh, the parent block that I'm in the group and then all the children beneath that so I can search within that. But breadcrumb and the list view at the top there are really super useful for selecting the blocks that you want to work on. And then the last little tip I've got for you is the modes that we've got available. Um, so what we've got with modes is if you click on the little pencil symbol here, you can see with two modes, the edit mode is selected by default. And that means I can click around the page and I will be editing the blocks that are there. But you've also got this select block uh, box or option. And if I click select, I can then start to click on things without selecting or editing. So you can see as I've clicked on this, it hasn't actually allowed me to edit it, but it allows me to select it, which may be useful again, if you've got lots of blocks on a page, you want to just find this particular block quickly, click on the buttons block, and then I can edit the button. Um, and I can obviously press edit at that point. So that's something that you may find useful. Some of these are obviously specific to if you have a specific number of blocks on your page. So I'd certainly look at those options um, that, that are available to you. So there you go, a few simple tips of how to improve your block editor experience and make your life easier. I hope those have been really useful to you and I'm sure that you've got some tips that you might want to share with me that I don't know and, and that will help me. So please, if you have, share them in the comments below. If you haven't already, I would be brilliant if you could subscribe to this channel and like the video if you've enjoyed it and other than that i'll see you next time thanks for watching